How much of the U.S. media referred to the COVID-19 as the Wuhan virus until it received an official designation from the WHO? It has been claimed in a fairly upvoted answer here which is why this not a notable enough claim for skeptics Shay that, for a fun exercise, put a news organization into Google's search along with Wuhan virus and scroll through a few pages of results. You'll find things generally split into two camps, 90% of the results are for recent articles which talk about racism, non-racism, etc. of the term, and 10% of the results are for articles from Jan, February which use Wuhan virus as the term of choice to describe the virus in a straightforward manner. Opening square bracket dot 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 closing square bracket. So now the term Wuhan virus, which up until a month ago was a professional term, is full out racist. How much of the U.S. media referred to COVID-19 as the Wuhan virus before it received an official WHO designation on February 11? Basically, was this Wuhan virus term a common occurrence in the U.S. media in February and Jan this year? Max Risuto from DFR Lab has analyzed this in an article published on March 17 which tests the media bias claims made by Republican politicians including GOP House leader Kevin McCarthy, who tweeted that Democrats are trying to score political points by calling Republicans racist and that the media called it Chinese coronavirus for weeks. While McCarthy uses the term Chinese coronavirus, Risuto's analysis also includes the term Wuhan virus. It should be noted however that this analysis was performed on all English language publications, not just U.S. targeted media, and has only collected data up until March 10. DFR Lab conducted a series of queries using a media monitoring tool to test the claim that media organizations are acting hypocritically in this way, gathering information about how geographic adjectives were used by the media to describe the disease before the official name of COVID-19 was applied by the WHO. This data is summarized in the chart below. Enter image description here. Source at Max B. Ritsudo, DFR Lab. From this data, we can see that the terms Wuhan virus and Wuhan coronavirus both had widespread use in English language media from the end of January up until the WHO named the disease on February 11. The usage was comparable to the usage of the terms China virus and less commonly Chinese coronavirus. After this date, we see the usage fall away dramatically, albeit not entirely, up until the recent debacle surrounding the use of geographic adjectives by various U.S. and international politicians. This could also be due to the fact that as the virus spread throughout China, publications that would have used Wuhan virus found China virus to be more accurate. In conclusion then, while a significant proportion of articles used the term Wuhan virus prior to naming conventions for the disease being established, after this point most media outlets switched to using the official terminology. The usage of the term has seen a resurgence in the media recently due in part to publications reporting on some politicians' continued use of this terminology.